Hi there, my name is Alden. In the first part of this video will be a test between the new mixer versus the old mixer and in the second part of it will be the analysis of the results. This new mixer is a part of a new class of device called cross low wax auto mechanical device with dynamic increased swept area. There are two main groups of this class, the energy exerting device, I got energy efficiency, including mixers, fans, blowers, ventilators, pumps, compressors, propellers, etc. And the other group, the energy extracting device, lying on renewable energy part, including any type of turbines for any type of fluids. The new TISA class of device is protected by a single patent, the International PCT Patent Panic, with this publication number. You may Google Patent Scope and then type my name or the publication number, or you could check my website, tisadevices.com, where you can find more information such as patent evaluation, etc. All of your DISA devices protected by the patent have one thing in common with DISA, dynamic increased swept area. That means that the new device can double their swept area compared to the conventional ones, or put it differently, they can double the rotating mechanisms for each drive shaft. Out of all new DISA devices, I'm starting to test the mixer group of devices because they are less complicated to design, build, and more important to test. Actually, on the pattern, I have analyzed the lift type turbines, which are the most complicated ones. The test will measure the time needed to turn the egg white from a liquid state to fully solid state. The time difference needed to perform the same task at the same conditions between the old mixer and the new mixer, it will show the difference of the energy used by each of them. Meaning, the device that performs the same task at the same conditions using less time, it will use less energy, meaning will have the higher energy efficiency. Now, let's start to test the old mixer. The task conditions are the same. So it's the same number of mixers, one commercial mixer versus one diesel mixer. It could be two versus two. The same number of blades between two mixers, four blades per order on the old one, four blades in two blades per order on the new one. The same fluid quantity, one egg per test. The same power input, number two, and the same containers. Even though it seems that the test conditions are the same, because of the difference in design between the old beer and the new mixer, the effects of these conditions are different. Per se, the same power input, and we're using the low rotation speed, number two, to better check the end of the process. The low speed favors more the old design in terms of efficiency per blade, because the old design has a higher number of blades per order, which is four blades, while the new design will perform better at high speeds because it has two blades per order. This concept is similar to TSR, which is tip speed ratio on the lift type device, where the optimum TSR is higher for the lower number of blades per order, and the optimum TSR is lower for the higher number of blades per order. The same fluid quantity, one egg per test. By using one egg per test, the layer of egg white is very thin, and because the new design has more space between the support structure, the lower rotor arms, and the upper rotor tip blades, the new design is not fully engaged in the mixing process. What does it mean is that uh, at other conditions such as higher rotation speed and or more fluid to be processed, the new design, this mixer, could perform better. On the other hand, the new diesel design has an upper hand compared to the old design, such as having more space to operate because of non coaxial rotors and new effects. We'll talk about it later on. Similarities. Both designs, the old one and the new one, had the same functionalities, which is mixing. Both designs could be built from the same materials. Both designs look almost the same. The new mixer can be mounted and mounted the same way as the old one, being interchangeable with the existing mixers. And the DISA mixer can be built out of the conventional data. Now let's start testing the new design mixer. 
This prototype is made by Mechanic Guzman of Osaka himself and is built using the drive shaft and four blades of the old left side beater. It has two blades per order design, adding one support structure and one synchronizing mechanism. We talked about the similarities of both designs and uh, now we'll see the difference of them based on their performance, characteristics, parameters, etc. The new diesel mixer, compared to the conventional one, performs the same task at the same conditions in less than half of the time, which means it uses less than half the energy, meaning it more than doubles the energy efficiency. Now, the next part of the video will analyze the test results, so I would like to thank anyone who watched this video up to this point. There are two main reasons for this unexpected result. You would expect doubling because the new design doubles the swept area compared to the old one. Now, even though the diameters of the new design swept area are the same as the old one, because the rotors of the new design are not coaxial, the space they occupy is bigger. The new design can work in pairs as well. It has the possibility to even further extend the working space where the other rotor could have a bigger diameter. No effects. The counter-rotating rotor blades create counter-rotating vortices, which could intensify the mixing process. This effect is similar to the dynamic weight cancel effect I have already mentioned on the pattern. The new design mixer compared to the conventional one, it would more than double the energy efficiency. But because the energy is closely related to other parameters such as time, space, material, etc., it would more than double the time efficiency. It would perform the same task at the same conditions in less than half the time. And this is very important in the industrial environments. In the end, it would double the lifespan efficiency of the motor part related to the workload because for the same amount of time, you double the amount of work done. When time efficiency is not as important as the energy efficiency, not in the industrial environments, in this case a new mixer will more than double the energy efficiency again. But because the time efficiency is not changing, this will require less power input, meaning smaller motor, small casing, etc. So in this case, it will increase the material and space efficiency. In other cases, the time efficiency could have different values in accordance with material and space efficiency. It could be other combinations between time, endurance, space and material efficiencies as well. The new mixer could work in different power modes such as electric power mode, plug mode, battery mode or manual mode, a simple crank or gear crank. That's my daughter trying to manually use the new mixer. The new mixer has new parameters compared to the old one. It has additional mechanisms and has new characteristics. The new parameters, new characteristics, additional mechanisms combined with different power modes could create hundreds of different designs based on performance and or aesthetics. If you put sharp blades to the diesel mixer instead of normal blades, the diesel mixer could be transformed to a diesel blender, which would inherit the same characteristics as a diesel mixer. The same thing would be about the other devices of the same group, such as diesel grinders, etc. The new diesel mixers, blenders, grinders, etc., could be scaled up or down to be used on step mixers, for example. It could be used by drills or any other motor types. It basically could be used by any industry consumers that require rotary, mechanical, mixing, blending, grinding, etc. The next video will be the efficiency test of the other groups of diesel devices, such as diesel fans, blowers, ventilators. Thanks for watching the whole video. Have a good one.